What you guys got another video here for you. This one's a software review video and uh, this one's on tweaking.com's uh, Windows repair tool. Now you can get it for free at tweaking.com. We need to do is come down to this Windows repair all in one tool and then click on the link here and it will give you some download links that you can uh, download it from. It does work on 32 bit and 64 bit Windows XP right up to Windows 7 and it's a free download. Now it's not going to fix every Windows problem on your computer but it's very good if you've uh, had malware on the system. Okay so let's take a look at tweaking.com's Windows repair tool in action. I'm going to fire it up and this is what we've got once we fire it up. It looks pretty basic but it is very useful and it's got some good tools on it. So we've got some steps up the top here and I'm just going to go through them. Now you can either click on the next button here or you can just click on the tabs themselves. Now step one gives us some uh, virus removal tools and as you can see malware bytes is up there that's a very good tool to use if you've got malware on the system and stuff like that it's very very useful also we've got TDSS killer which is made by Kaspersky and it's a rootkit removal tool this is great for rootkits and stuff like that on the system although you've got to be a bit more careful when removing those if you say delete and you should be saying cure then you're going to render the system unbootable so be very careful when using these types of tools Avast is another free antivirus program and they've got a link for it here. Now you may not need that so don't go installing this if you've already got an antivirus program on your system. You won't need to install that. Also Combo Fix, I'm not sure it was meant to be on this type of tool if it was meant for beginners because this program can do uh, some damage to the system if you don't know how to use it properly and also uh, if you remove um, files, system files and, you, and it can't replace them then it deletes it and it will render the system unbootable so you've got to be very careful when using combo fix and you've got to use it at the right time uh, that said let's have a look at um, step two uh, step two now is giving us the check file system now this is built into Windows itself but this will allow you to run it straight from here you click on this I'm not going to click on it because it will require a system restart and uh, what this does, this will scan the drive uh, or for system errors and stuff like that and it will check the drive. Now it will take some time to run so uh, you will have to be patient when running this. Now you won't have to run this unless you need to if you've got system problems or stuff like that then you can use this okay. Right so let's have a look at step 3 here. Now step 3 system file checker. Now this is really good if you've got um, corrupt files, system files on the system or they've got the uh, the wrong Windows system file what it will do is it will correct that by um, putting the right one on. Now you may also need to use a Windows CD uh, to replace these files as well so bear that in mind and all you need to do is click on the do it now button and it will actually do that and uh, do it for you. Now you can do this also in command prompt again uh, but this is just for probably uh, beginners to help them out and let them do it. Now this is not a bad thing to run if you've got issues with your system it's also uh, you know pretty useful stuff like that. you can run this and uh, this will actually check all the files operating system for any uh, corrupt files and stuff like that so it's pretty useful. So let's have a look at step 4. Well step 4 is the most probably important part of computers which is uh, taking a restore point and also making registry backups. People don't back up regular enough and this is a real pet hate of mine and it's been happening since time begun really and uh, there's no need for it nowadays. There's plenty of uh, software out there uh, to, to make backups for your system. It's even built into Windows itself. Now this is done by eRunt I think which is a very good tool and uh, you can back up and restore your registry from here. Now you can also do this inside Windows itself. You don't need this tool to do that but it's very nice to have that feature here. You can also do this inside Windows as well but again it's very useful to quick click on create and also restore uh, a restore point. So let's move on to uh, start repairs. Now start repairs is going to prompt me to have a, a restore point created and also back up my registry before I run these and this is also a very good thing to do so we're going to click on start and then I'm going to say yes here and it will make a restore point as you can see it there grayed out starting to create a restore point and then it will start backing up the registry which is also very important if we're going to make changes to the registry now this tool where it comes into its own is when you've had malware on the system it will remove 
uh, a lot of that malware with malware bytes and also fix a lot of the issues that malware causes and this is why this tool I think was created so let's now click on this start button here now we've created our backup and as you can see we have a long list of uh, useful tools here um, and what they will do they will fix a lot of issues with your uh, Windows operating system after you've removed malware from the system now obviously you can see here reset registry permissions which is very common when you've had malware on there reset file permissions also we've got uh, register system files repair WMI also Windows firewall Internet Explorer all these top ones so far of all uh, good for malware related issues uh, repair the OS file here which is also another good one um, for that policies set by um, infections these get changed uh, by malware and stuff like that and you can reset these uh, with this tool here it's also got a remove um, a repair missing start menu icons icons and this is another one that gets done with uh, malware as well it actually removes those and this will actually fix it for you repair the icons is another common one and uh, Winsock as I said all of these proxy settings another one here which is very very useful unhide which is basically unhide all your system files um, once they've been hidden and that also is a malware related issue because uh, malware does that repair the Windows update another thing uh, which is related to malware so I would say these are probably all related to malware related issues very very good so uh, we've got MSI installer uh, which is another common thing there so as you, you can see pretty useful and uh, all you would need to do here is tick the ones that you want to repair and then click on the start button now I would say uh, a word of caution here I wouldn't go running all of these if you don't need to I would just take ticks out of the ones that you don't need and leave the ticks in the ones that you do need to repair and click on start and this will repair them but remember always back up uh, it will prompt you to back up first and also I would advise you to do that before running any of these types of infection uh, infection removal tools uh, and, and repair tools okay so always make backups so I think that's about it for this video I think we've covered everything there pretty small program but a lot of uh, punch in it it's really got some good tools in there so I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys share your support by hitting that subscribe button also by rating and favoring my videos also join my Facebook fan page and uh, stuff like that and uh, I'll be making more videos again in the future so take it easy have a nice weekend and I shall see you again soon bye for now